hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel Barbara Vandera. i hope you guys are feeling great okay guys we have a guest in the house mm, armed lifestyle enemies i guess what guys they will be checking so young amazing grace wow you know amazing grace is a very very important sentence or how that put it those words are really really touching yeah. When you have grace with you, you got a lot of things, and you now have an amazing grace. Yeah, sure. Wow, <laughs> let's just check this out, guys. Yeah, let's check, let's it, check out. it out. Like, yeah. Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. This was so sweet. Like, I thank you. The one thing I'm going to say is that, God, I thank you for your amazing grace upon my life, upon our life, my loved ones, like, upon everybody's life. Like, let's just give him the thanks. Like, you know, I will also pray for more amazing grace upon our life because this song is just so sweet. You know, it's everything. It says everything. It gives everything it's supposed to give. It's a 10 over 10 minus nothing. You understand me? 
Like, wow, I really, really enjoyed it. So tell me what's your intake on this. You know, always says innocent amazing grace and a song by Soya. First, it was so beautiful. And then one thing is about um, God is, and, you know, God came right in human flesh god manifests yeah. himself in human flesh yeah that's jesus christ right yeah. and then he paid the price yeah on the cross for my sin right yeah i was nothing even though he i did not choose him but he chose me right yeah he chose to come and save me yeah from the original sin you understand that okay. i have inherited here from mm -hmm. adam right and then he has saved me from that very particular you understand sin yeah. so what more you understand what some human, you understand, cannot do this, you understand, for you. It is only God who can cannot pay the supreme price in yeah. the name of, you understand, trying to save you, you understand, from yeah, that very course, original, you understand, sin. And, you know, there is no love that one can show you aside from the one that Christ has shown. Because Christ has shown us, you understand, this very um, love by even losing his life just because of what the love he has for you and I. Like, so what else, you understand, do we need? What else? Christ have already taken it away. That's why, irrespective of the kind of situation you might find yourself, right? Just remember, Christ have already paid the price in his time for me and you. So why do you need to be worried? Life may not treat you the way maybe you expect, or probably you have expectation there is something that maybe you want in a sense in your life, and then maybe probably you keep in a sense trying or you're pushing, and then it's not working out, right? And then at that point in time, you're giving up. You don't have to give up. God have already do it for you. Christ have done it for you and me. It's about you to just yeah. believe. And when you believe, actually, you a ask. lot of people, a lot yeah. of people in this situation, we ask God why. Yeah. But do you know one thing? No. Um, you should never ask God why. You know how? Do you know the meaning of how? I'm sorry, okay. do you know the meaning of why? Okay, that's what I'm trying to... Understand. Who healed you? God. Who helped you? God. And who... Um, how do I put it again? Provide for Rose. Like, no, like the meaning of why. Like that word why. Yeah. W stands for who. Yeah. H stands for help. Yeah. Then, who helped you? Who healed you? And it's obviously him. He was yeah. there for us to understand. Yeah. I feel in this life, no matter what we're going through, yeah. in time of difficulty, it's very, very hard. Yeah. Very, very hard. But trust me, we shouldn't ask God why, because he wants the best for us. Anything he does, anything that happens, know that he's trying to put us in the perfect place. Yeah. Okay, we go through crisis and stuff like that. But he, he knows why he's building up building us up in that way yeah it's just because like the reason why maybe sometimes in this time we do kind of ask us why is we are human yeah and then sometimes human tend to put themselves in a in the god position and then some feels like when i ask god for something then they will give let's say one week two weeks or one month that they expect it to happen and then if they see that there is no change and then at that point in time they start giving up that resulted to them in a sense talking about the why things start coming in yeah right? that's when they start feeling like wow this God, is he really going to do this for me? And then if care is not taken, you see some people, right, go ahead, right, by seeking mm. other powers. That's why I've always said that, like, when you understand you have trouble or um, you are going through trouble, tribulation, and all those things understand, happening in your life, right, you don't have to give up. You could look at Job, for instance. Like, if you look at Job, Job goes through all manners of things to the point that blisters are coming out of his body. That's he just the thing, that we should learn not to everyone. give up. But he never give up, like he still believed, you understand, in God, that God is going to save him from that, you understand, thing he was yeah. going through. And before you know it, what the Bible makes us to understand that what Job got, God was double fold of what he was having, you understand, yeah. before. And then why? Because he was still be able to, to hold his faith, you understand, in Yeah. God. Because you know, one thing that like, matters is faith. You need to have faith. Yeah, yeah. You need to have and faith. be patient. And then, and then you know, you know, you know, you know. One thing that normally causes these things is like when people lose the faith, and then one, this is what happened. People lose the faith, and why do they lose the faith? They lose the faith because of they don't like to what to go closer to God, to go to God. Because mm -hmm. the Bible makes us to understand that what faith comes by what by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So how do you hear from God by studying His word? And when yeah. you study His word, that's when you now know that yes, it is written. That's when you now know that like if you're going through material things or whatever, or is finance or whatever you need, right? That's when you got to realize that what God says that what is going to give us the power to make wealth. So whatever you need, in a sense, is in God, and that's why He says that what. When you submit to God in all and all the righteousness, like then 
every other thing will be added onto you. So it yeah. means that when you submit to God, everything is just already. So you don't just, have to struggle. You don't have yeah. to go through. So whatsoever you crisis you are facing, just that. No matter the crisis you are facing in life, just thank God. Just be like, yeah. I know you. Why? I know you have a reason for doing yeah. this. I know you're trying to put me in the best position that I could have ever even imagined or even wished for. So no matter what I'm going through in this life, we should just thank God. Yeah. Though it's not easy, trust me, it's not easy. It's not easy. But we should learn to thank God and appreciate Him because He yeah. wants the best for us. Yeah. So guys, we've come to the end of today's reaction. Yeah. This amazing grace yeah. by So Young, like it's so inspiring, you know. So guys, we come to the end of today's reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.